bullshit. Alright y'all man, I'm coming back with another video, truck update. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if anybody knows what this is, but before I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to go do a di diagnostic again anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can see, hold on, let me zoom in. ENG0. Anybody know what that stands for? And as you can see, I got two check engine lights on. Uh, they just came on recently. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I was having an air brake, air brake issue. That long beep, beep ringing at the beginning. That's why the air brake issue. Um, man, it's been one thing after another with this truck. Um, you know, I thought this was something good to get from Ryder because you know the deal was amazing or whatnot, but. Man, this is trash, bro. I've been dealing with so much crap from this truck. Like, basically, when I first got this truck, the first issue I had to deal with was the lift gate. Uh, I was doing an Amazon relay stop. Uh, used my lift gate for the first time at my last Amazon relay stop. Uh, dropped off. It was three pallets. I got the last pallet off. Had the lift gate down put it down to put it back up folded it folded it hit the up switch nothing it was like it lost all power um ended up being a wiring issue <laughs> imagine that um they were saying that it wasn't uh it actually wasn't wired correctly so took it back to rider um since it was with it was only like a week that i had the truck maybe like five six days so they fixed it it was the wiring they fixed the wiring boom it was working cool i do a couple more runs this is all happened under i'm under i haven't even put ten thousand miles on this truck yet and i've had it for like three and a half almost four months um so basically hold on let me move this real just the air brake in that goes away it doesn't say eng zero and see this truck is a 2015 and it only has 162,000 miles um but yeah everything else is is normally pretty copacetic uh i'll get to the issue of that show y'all why it was uh well i don't know what these check engine lights are on for now but uh when they came on i'll show you uh what the what the issue was but okay so after I got it back from getting the lift gate rewired and working, um, what was it? I had did a run to Colorado from Texas. Uh, check engine lights came on, and the truck was just it was it was hesitating and all types of crap. So I ended up taking it to a shop. Uh, warranty didn't cover anything what's the point of a warranty these days um it ended up being it was getting uh, low fuel pressure so they changed the fuel filter and my hose from the turbo to the engine block was leaking coolant um so they took the hose off changed out the o-rings i guess uh cool leak stopped they refilled it uh with coolant five hundred dollars out the window for that and now well my truck was actually down and out for what two weeks with that when that happened like a week and a half two weeks when that happened got the truck back dealer tag was out temporary tag was out i was still waiting for the finance uh the lien holder to do the title transfer um do the title transfer so i could uh get my plates because the truck ended up being registered in Georgia. I bought it in Louisiana and I couldn't get Texas plates until they did the title transfer and I had to go to the man it was so it's so much it, I would recommend if y'all are gonna get a truck financed find one that's registered in your state 
so you don't have to go through all the crap that I had to go through because I had to go through a lot of BS uh, which also on top of the two weeks week and a half two weeks that the truck was down in the shop added another two to three weeks for me to get my plates to be able to start running again one thing after another with this truck man I'm telling you and then now my brakes started acting weird come to find out the air the air brake line had disconnected itself uh, which I don't know if that's why the check engine lights on I don't know what the EMG zero code is that just popped up so I got to get that checked now uh, oh and the lift gate is randomly falling it's leaking hydraulic fluid <laughs> And a lot, they already told me the lift gate isn't covered under the warranty through rider or the lien holder. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know why I got the extended warranty, to tell you the truth. I, I have no idea. Um, but let me get to my drop. Um, I got like 60 miles to go. I'm do, doing a Amazon relay. It's like 65 miles for $200. Uh, $3.08 a mile, I think. Uh, but, yeah, as soon as I get over there and drop the load, I'll show y'all under the hood with what happened. Um, I'm praying that I make it because whenever it did happen and I was trying to do a run, the red check engine light came on and says stop in the middle. Um, I got that to go away. So I'm running my loads because, I mean, I can't afford to lose any more money. I've been losing so much money since I got this truck. It's unreal. But uh, as soon as I get over there and I'm able to show you all under the hood, I'll go ahead and do that and then close out this video. But I just want to bring awareness to anybody who's thinking about going through Ryder make sure you have somebody uh, mechanic that you know somebody that knows their trucks go check out the truck before you get it because man they will get over on you i'm not not telling one single lie in that like they will get over on you and that, that warranty and all that extra man look man <laughs> say it's cold as hell out here Damn wind. Alright man, I'm gonna show y'all what I was talking about real quick. I'm right here docked up at uh Amazon. <clears throat> Alright, so turn my light on. Okay. So what happened was this line right here say air brake. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it says air brake right there. This part of the hose was disconnected. It was like down, down here somewhere. This part with the gold uh, grommets on it was sitting up here, and I can't really see. So that part right here. There we go. That part was pushed out. You can't even see it. I won't focus. Yeah, there you go. So that part right there. Uh, and it was causing it to throw that uh, red check engine light. With, and saying stop. So... And I'm pretty sure it's getting low fuel pressure again, um, simply because to this stop, on the way to this stop, uh, I put, I was messing with the cruise control, put it on cruise control on, I think like 64 miles per hour, and it kept dropping down to uh like 50 55 miles per hour and taking forever to start you know gaining back its its acceleration so i'm pretty sure it's something to do again with low fuel pressure and so real quick start the truck and it does that with the air brake light on still and Oh, nice. The red stop is on again. Let's see if it'll go away. So that went away. But 
That light is on. Once again. Whoa. So. Yeah. Pretty much, guys, this is what I've been dealing with. Um, it's pretty much been one thing after another. This truck has been hard as hell for me to make money because there's always something wrong with it. It's been down in the shop more than than I can use it and it's I'm losing so much money um you might ask me Corey Moe well, why are you driving why isn't it in the shop it's got check engine lights on I can't afford to lose any more money like I don't understand how much money I've lost I've had this truck for three months and only used it for like a month month and a half maybe so imagine all the money I've been losing you know the month month and a half where it's been down in the shop but yeah, uh, y'all let me know if you want me to keep you updated on the situation. If y'all, you know, need any information, feel free to drop down in the comments, ask me anything, give me any feedback if you know what might be wrong with the truck. Um, yeah, man, I'm over it. Just hoping I can get my taxes before I put it in the shop so I can get everything fixed at once, hit the ground running, but we'll see. Man, hey, y'all subscribe if you're new to the channel smash that thumbs up make sure you smash that thumbs up i could really use that as motivation and 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 good faith so um yeah hit that thumbs up post notification bell turn that on drop in the comments you know leave me whatever you want and yeah man uh i'll try to keep y'all updated and, and keep my head held high and try to stay motivated and have faith but lord have mercy Woo! man i am so tired of this truck so with that red check engine light on that said stop it popped up in the middle when that was on and I put it in drive it wouldn't give it wouldn't get in any gas so I hit the gas pedal it wouldn't wouldn't go anywhere so I had to turn the truck off park turn the truck off wait a couple minutes turn it back on that light went away so now I'm able to drive I'm trying to get back at least to where I can park my truck. But, man, this is crazy. Like right now, I'm, on, I'm only going like 50 miles an hour on the freeway, because it's not getting any fuel. It's, I don't know. And see, they just said it was low fuel pressure, so they changed the fuel filter, and uh, supposedly it fixed it. But I guess I'm gonna have to call them again and be like, hey, is there a warranty on the fuel filter because I think it needs to be changed again or there's something else wrong that y'all you know missed because it still has the same issue so yeah you, you you buying well financing a used truck is pros and cons pros you're gonna spend a lot less money than you would renting a truck, like from Enterprise or Budget or Ride or whatever. Uh, but the cons, the warranty doesn't really cover very much if you add the warranty. Um, and any issues that you have, you're probably gonna have to pay out of pocket. It's like the same thing as if you buy the truck outright, all the expenses are on you. Uh, you deal with this stuff, you deal with losing money, uh, I mean, I've been taking L after L after L since I started the business. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's tough. Um, I, I, I be trying to stay positive and motivated, but golly, man, like this shit don't make no damn sense. This is only three months of me having this truck. Before this, I was renting a truck from Enterprise didn't have any of these issues but I was paying 2400 a month for the rental and my insurance was like 22 2300 a month too so there's a lot of that's a lot of money in renting a truck uh, granted if something went wrong with it I probably could have took it back and they put me in another truck easy you know it sounds easy but it's you still willing paying a lot of money which at this point, it's looking like it would have been worth it either way. Because uh, now I'm only paying $1,700 a month uh, to finance the truck. And I'm paying $1,900 a month for insurance. So, I'm saving them. Well, I thought I was saving money, but hell. 
I'm having to pay out of pocket for the expenses and the maintenance and stuff. So, I mean, I'm losing either way. So, yeah, just keep that in mind, you know, when y'all are looking at these trucks. Uh, weigh out your options. At this point, I don't know what the hell to tell you. I, I mean, if you're, it's hard to make money unless you buy a truck. And if you buy the truck outright, take it to a mechanic, get everything looked over, everything serviced, and then start running. That's the only way you're going to make money, especially starting out. I mean, there's some people who have amazing luck with this as soon as they start. And then there's others like me struggling to make it um i mean i've been borrowing money left and right if it wasn't for my support systems i would have failed a long time ago but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i will keep y'all up to date with what happens next appreciate y'all for tapping in man feel free to uh donate me a dollar or two <laughs> my cash app is in the description you know what i'm saying <laughs> Anything is plenty. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Until the next one.